So we just started into 2024 and you may also want to invest into stocks. Maybe you also explored that you can choose between weekly and monthly investments. A friend of mine asked me a few months back if you should invest monthly or weekly. And as you may also heard, time in the market beats time in the market. And investing monthly means you try to flatten the curve, right? So you try to have an average buying price. So it should be reasonable to invest into the stocks weekly. To find out what's better, we should take a look into historical data. Let me know down in the comments what you think is better. So this video is no investment advice. I downloaded the historical data from Yahoo and simulated the investment over the last 10 years. So here we can see the Yahoo Finance website. You can download the data as CSV. Um, I just downloaded it from 1988 as a CSV file, as we can see here. We have all the data in there, some null values I filter out in the code, and yeah. So we have all the Yahoo historical data, like the open price, the high, low, close price. And let's take a look into how we calculate it. So I said last 10 years, we take the start date from last 10 years to today. And we start with having all the starting weeks and, and month, like the first day of the month and every week. And yeah, then we create like a dict that just maps the year month and day to the price of the current date. So here ye year, month and day to the price and the price we calculate the open price, the high price, the low price and the closing price, sum all of them and divide by four. <clears throat> so we just have the average of like the price of the day because we don't know when exactly it will be bought. So let's play the cell. We have like a function that just takes the next price because it could be that to we say, okay, Monday we want to buy, but Monday could be like a day off. So we just say, okay, the next day we have a price, we take the price and buy it that day. This could be like a bit off, but usually it should be fine. Okay, so we have this function as well. We have the print function to print the results, some more imports. So the first option could be we want to invest every month $1,000 or every week 250 So let's see the result. Um, I will just calculate it and print the result as a chart. And as we can see, the monthly investment is way lower than the weekly investment. And if we pl print the results, we see we have an advantage of nearly 8% increase from the weekly investment over the monthly investment. Wait a minute! Why is that? A year has 52 weeks compared to 12 months. So basically you have one more month if you pay weekly instead of monthly. That's also why most gyms charge you weekly instead of monthly because then in the end they gain one month a year in money. So let's say we want to invest the same amount in a year on a weekly base than on a monthly base. What is it? We invest $230 a week instead of $250. And then we can see we basically have no increase. So the monthly investment is slightly better, about 0.5%. But to be honest, 0.5% is nothing. So what's the next option? We could say, okay, most of the brokers, they have a fee. So what is if we have $1 fee, then the weekly investment is even worse, right? And it is also slightly because you invest a bit less, then you are nearly at 1%. So the conclusion of that is if your brokers taking fees of the monthly investment or weekly investment, it may be beneficial to like collect a bit of the investments and do it uh, a bit rarely compared to weekly. It could be that they have a 1% fee. So we say one hundredths of the investment and then the difference is like marginal again. So the 1% is in the end like slightly the is nearly the same, right? So we have again like a little to no difference. But it could also be that we say, okay, we want to buy in the end of every month because we get, we get our money in the end of every month or at the end of every week. <clears throat> so let's say we want to invest in the end of the month instead of the beginning of the month. 
and then the weekly investment is better. So the conclusion is if you want to invest weekly versus monthly, it is depending on how you get your money. If you get your salary monthly, it may be beneficial to invest monthly. If you get it weekly or bi-weekly, it may be beneficial to invest weekly or bi-weekly. So in the end, it comes down to your preferences because 0.5 to 0.6% difference over 10 years, it's basically nothing. So in the end, it doesn't matter if you want to invest weekly or monthly, it just matters that you do it. Time in the market beats time in the market again, as we saw. If you invest end of the month versus beginning of the month, you have already a little difference. Also, if you didn't subscribe yet, 99% of my viewers did not subscribe. So let me know what you think about the investment strategies. This is definitely not an investment advice. It's just what is beneficial based on the historical data. I will also link you the Jupyter notebook so you can play around with the numbers yourself if you are interested. Thank you for watching and see you next time.